Alrighty guys, what's going on? It's Killer here, come back at you with another video. And in this one I'm going to be teaching you how I install my mod menus and use them to play for you guys and just the basics and the full tutorial on how to do it. So, first off you're going to go to the description, download these two things. They're pretty easy downloads, just go to download link and click download, that's about it. So once you have these, you're going to want to click this, click yes, click English, Go next, 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 install. Wait for that to install. Don't click cancel like I just did. I'm only doing it because I already have it right here. You see? And then once it's done, you should get a thing right here and just, you know, finish off the rest of the thing until you get this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this, open this up. Oh, and you're going to have to have a WinRAR for this. I'm pretty sure you might not actually have to, I'm not positive, but I think you might. So once you get that, you're going to want to drag the folder out. And uh, I already have it out, so I'll just replace it, because why not? And uh, once you get this folder, you're going to want to enter your Black Ops 2 game, correct? Okay? You're going to want to enter your Black Ops 2 game. I hope you'll be able to see it on stream. I'm not quite positive, so I'm actually going to check real quick. Okay, I think you should. Yeah, you should be seeing it. I just pop, pulled up my little recording thing real quick just to make sure. But uh, once you're in, you're going to want to get into a custom game and you can go whatever map you want. Any of them work. For these purposes, I'm just going to use Origins just because. And what you're going to want to do is once you get to the screen, you're going to want to press this button and you're going to have to go to your settings and make it so you can actually like uh, window screen it and stuff like that. It's pretty easy to do. You, can, you'll, you, you'll, you should be able to figure it out. What you're going to want to do is, um, if you don't have it pinned to your taskbar, then just go to your files and find it on your desktop. But you're going to want to click on Black Ops 2 GSC Studio. You're going to want to come here until you get this on your screen. You're going to want to press Connect. Go down to PC and attach it to the Steam process. But this is... This is basically what it comes down to. If you buy it on Steam, attach it to the Steam process. If you buy it like the cracked version or something, you're going to want to do redacted. But I have Steam, so I'm going to do Steam. It's going to say Project Attached to the Success, success and you're going to click OK. You're going to want to go to Editor. Go down to Inject a Compiled Script File right here. And you're going to want to go, once you get this little pop-up right here, you're going to want to go to Add GSC to Inject. And wherever you put that Phoenix V5 folder, that's where you're going to want to go. So for me, I put it on my desktop, and you can see it's right here. I have it right here. What you're going to want to do is when you find your folder, you're going to want to select the folder. It should show up right here, and just inject the list. Now you're done with this. You can go out of this and start your game. That should be all. And once you get into the game, let me actually turn on my controller. Things. I don't honestly know how to do it with a desktop, but... Um, if you have a uh, controller, which I do, it's not a big deal if you don't. You can still do it, obviously. Let me just plug this baby in right here. All right, all right. Um, is it working? I think it is. And then we'll just wait for the loading screen. This takes absolutely ages. And once this is done, once this is done, basically... I'll, I'll tell you when we get in there. Okay, my controller is working. That's good. All right. So once you get in the game, which you should, if you don't, if you don't get in the game, then you did something wrong. But uh, you're gonna want to click the aim button and B at the same time. So the aim button and crouch, which is let me let me go ahead and give that a try on my uh, on this right here. Oh, wrong one. So, yeah, see? So it's C and right click. C and right click at the same time, and then V to go back, you know? So once you press uh, the aim button and crouch to get into your mod menu, you want to press square to, uh, to select anything. You want to press the knife button to back out. S square to select, knife button to back out. And then use your up and down arrows on your uh, keyboard, or not on your keyboard, your up and down arrows on your controller. And on the keyboard, I'm pretty sure you can just use your up and down arrows or the scroll pad. 
And if not, then uh, use the little numbers on the top of your keyboard. And then just collect anything you want, and you can all of it should be working just fine, like like so. So that's all I'm gonna have for the video today, guys. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments or anything like that. But you guys should be good to go. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you later. Bye bye.